Hello everybody, welcome back to another Fortnite video. Once again, I am playing with my sister's group. Um, my sister could not make it, so I play with the other two that she usually plays with. Um, and uh, believe this one was indeed a win. Um, I think we all got a decent amount of kills as the usual. Um, I kind of explained a lot about the new season in the last video, so I probably won't talk as much in this one. I think I've decided from now on I'm going to get rid of the HUD and not really show it until right at the end game, just so you get an overall look at it. Um, but yeah, uh, we landed at the temple, which I don't do that often because it is a huge hot spot. Uh, it ended up working out well for us this time. I believe one of the two I was playing with bought the uh, site guy at the top, um, the sniper, uh, which scans the area, which ended up helping us in a few situations. There's that combat SMG I was saying, which is a piece of trash. It's almost like, if you liked the twin mag, then you'll like the combat SMG. It fires the bullets really, really freaking fast, um, but the spray is absolute garbage. Um, so I usually do not use it unless it is the only gun I have left to swap to, or have. I have no idea what they were shooting at. Okay, I think it is a person. I say, I, I can't remember, it's been a while. Oh yeah, and then I felt like a pretty hard. So I used to take the Havoc Suppressed Assault Rifle a lot, but with the new season, I tend to go Flapjack if I can find one instead. Because, like, as I stated in the last one, I try to have at least one sniper rifle, if not technically two, if you want to count the DMR as a sniper. And then definitely an assault rifle and then a shotgun. And then either boomerang cannon or slurp kind of alternates around. I tend to drop the shotgun if I can get two of either boomerang cannon or slurp. Um, because I tend to get my shots far away. I don't do a lot of up close in this season. Um, if I do, then I have the flapjack, which is OP up close. Um, I think, yeah, that's the one where you have to give up a purple weapon to get in. I didn't have one that I can remember. But I might have blanked out and I probably could have one. But I don't think I did. I guess I think uh, one of the other two opened it and I kind of creeped on it later. I think the temple area is really nicely done. I like the setup. Uh, there's usually lots of weapons around. It's very pretty. Uh, good place to go to, but as I said, it's so it's such a hot spot. Uh, <laughs> you tend to get uh, fucked as soon as you land. But for whatever reason, there was only one other team here besides us. And yeah, see, as you'll see, I'll definitely take a pistol over the Havoc SMG. Uh, one of them run exclusively pistols a lot, and I had told them, if I find a shotgun, I'll give you the pistol. I had, lo and behold, I found a shotgun instantly, and I'm like, okay, here you go, you can have the pistol.
I don't tend to use the keys as often in this season as I did the last, mostly because it seems like the lockboxes most of the time have the submachine, the Havoc suppressed assault rifle, the Havoc shotgun. Um, it is that's most of the time. And then you have one your mythics, which I don't really care for in this season. They're not that good in the season, except maybe the breacher. Um uh, but you will see the rare uh, lockbox that has either a heavy, a thermal DMR, a flapjack, or the drum shotgun. So I tend to go for those more. But usually I wait to see if I can find a gold um, in one before I buy it. Uh, I tend to ignore it if it's um, purple because it seems to be a lot of the times the farther you get in the game you will find purple ones. So unless it's a gold then I won't buy it most of the time. right past that gold flapjack. Huh. Yep, because I had a green and so I could look. Damn. <laughs> I'm blind. Sniped him, baby. With this fucking banana in the waterfall I could not get because he kept jumping in and out, in and out, in and out, and conveniently was able to shoot us. Um, even though he was jumping in and out of the water perfectly good, and it kind of pissed me off a little bit. So I ended up just running all the way around to try to see if I could get him. And we didn't know, obviously, that there was a team on the left. Um, the other two went left and I went right because I really wanted to kill the banana. <laughs> But my team ended up, one of the ones on my team freaked out because they're like, oh my god, I just went right into a group of three of them. And I'm like, well, kind of, yeah, you went left without the rest of us. And I said, I'm getting the banana. <laughs> so I did get the banana. And then I ran over to help them. I know I bought something here, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, it was another. Oh, that's right, because I was, I couldn't find a boomerang um, or a cannon at this time, and we still hadn't done slurp yet.
uh, one of the last videos I, I talked to you guys about was like how we tend to like KS sometimes and some of us get kind of mad, especially me when I get KS, especially if I do most of the damage. What's funny is that um, the guy who playing the orange girl was like, he kind of made a comment about, oh, I did majority of the damage and yet I didn't get that kill. I don't need myself because I took the kill. I don't need myself. Well, it kind of happens where everybody seems to KS. Like every team I play with, like even if we call it, someone ends up going and KSing and we're like, really? I mean, most people are pretty good about not. If you call your kill, they tend to leave it alone. But my sister's group does, it functions differently than the one I play with in my server because in my server we tend to say if we call it we'll leave we'll leave it alone unless you go down we won't help you kind of thing we kind of respect each other's um if we know we can handle a kill whereas my sister's group kind of goes all in and it's just basically if you get the kill you get the kill like even if somebody else does bulk of the damage they don't really like i don't want to say they don't care but it's just it functions differently than my server does Because I think it was this one. I think I went for in on the kill on this one, and I think one of the other two stole it. Yeah, because the guy kept bloody moving. Say, I think we got freaked out at that point because they're like, wait a minute, since this is going to end up being one of the, or not the NPC, one of them got hired. I'm like, oh my like, god. The one thing I think that's annoyed me the most this season, funny enough, is the vehicles. I have gotten knocked down like two or three times in different matches by a vehicle or gotten most of my shield and health taken away, and it actually makes me see red. Because it's just like, oh my god, like, this is a gun game. Like, why am I taking so much damage from a vehicle? Like, it's so annoying. And you can't exactly dodge, because if you jump, you get hit by the windshield. So, like, you're kind of just screwed if someone decides to come at you with a truck and you don't know they're coming. Like, and it's just, it pisses me off. Because, like, use some skill. Like, actually shoot me with a gun and not fucking hitting me with a vehicle. I was really confused in this instance because I knew the person that I got was down to the left. I think they just died though. I think that might have been their partner. And I had no idea where this guy's partner was or teammates were. I think that's one of them over there. still one more and we're like okay where's the third at and you don't even see like this should show their name if they're somewhat close but i don't think they were anywhere close Oh yeah, and then um, while we were off doing that, one of the other ones got the group, the key card to get into the vault. Which by the time I got there, I think there was nothing there except for um, 
I think it was. Oh yeah, there was no heat. So. Oh yeah, it was the slurp. I think that was the only thing I ended up taking. Oh, I didn't even take the slurp. Usually I do, so I must like. I know my loadouts: the thermal DMR, the heavy snipe, the flapjack rifle, and then I had the. Um, The um, Havoc shotgun. The one issue I have with the thermal DMR is the hits are just seem to be off if you have the thermal on. Because it's it's a like a obviously it's a, a crosshair and it's not like a, a scope like I'm used to on the heavy or the old DMR. My shots are all over the place sometimes on these DMRs. I always see, since I go for the head, I tend to miss because they seem to just duck at the perfect time and I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, see, and that guy's lagging, so my shot, even though it looked like it should hit upper body, it missed. Yeah, see, he's lagging all over. I think this is the end. I think this is the last team. Oh yeah, because he completely ignored my teammate that was shooting at him, and I went right in for the kill. I'm like, you're a moron, like dude. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. There was another one. But yeah, our team did really well on that one. I mean, more than a fifth of the lobby kills our team got. Um. Yeah, that that was a good game. Yep, that was definitely a good one. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.